My name's Sheila Ling and I'm head teacher of Preston Pan's Infant School in East Lothian. I'm Kevin Young, project manager Dad's Work in Musselburgh, East Lothian. Through the work that Dad's Work wanted to achieve in supporting fathers through the wider area of East Lothian, uh, I attended a support from the start meeting uh, to indicate that Dad's Work wanted to start a Dad's and Toddler playgroup and we were looking at Preston Pans in particular. At that meeting, uh, I had ex expressed that we had some difficulty in uh, achieving a, a suitable venue. Um, there was many hurdles to overcome that. And through discussions with Sheila, um, she had indicated that there was a possibility that Dad's work would be able to use a facility within the school. At Preston Pans Infant School, we are absolutely committed to working within the community to support our families. And we're aware that dads are often marginalised in the playground and in schools. So when I heard that dads work were looking for a venue to run their dads and toddlers group in Preston Pans, I was really excited about that. Came and spoke to staff about it. I had to speak to the parent council because the room that the dads and toddlers group would be in was a room that they mainly used. So we negotiated with the parent council and with staff to have the use of the room and it was agreed that Dads and Toddlers was going to start at Preston Pans Infant School. We then got uh, money from support from the start to purchase some uh, equipment and for the running costs of this playgroup. We then started advertising that through the fathers that we were already engaging with from the local community and that has been a great success and we have between 10 uh, and 12 dads um, who attend regularly over uh, every week. They come in, they, they get to meet other fathers, they get to play with their children, we have sing songs, we have some arts and crafts, we have music, we have a uh, healthy snack, and we just basically have a lot of fun with our children. Recently, because the weather's been great, we've been out in the playground playing in the sandpit, and it just gives the dads another safe space to meet other dads, um, talk about uh, parenting issues, issues particularly to themselves, and more generic fathering uh, issues for themselves and uh, their dads, and to be able to share their experiences and support each other. It's really hard for dads to find a place that they can be and relax with their own children. So because this event was here and they could come, the children had so many opportunities to choose from and the dads could be with the kids, it was really, um, really meaningful to the dads and they wanted to have more opportunities to do this. We asked when they would like it and they said they would like it on Saturday mornings. Now that's not a time that traditionally professionals will work but it's a time that works for dads, so we're absolutely committed to making that happen on Saturday mornings, monthly if we can, um, and we've been doing that since then. From the survey that we conducted at Go Mad With Dad, we, we looked at that and Dad's Work was running a Tuesday morning father support group uh, at another venue in Musselburgh. But as most of the fathers came from this side of East Lothian, in particular Preston Pans, we decided that as we were working in the school, again we approached Sheila and asked if we could move our dad's group into the school so again that we could continue the work together, uh, supporting fathers and children. That happened, we've been now here about six months on a Tuesday morning and we have between eight and ten dads turn up every morning. The room's a fantastic space, it gives us a space to, to talk confidentially, it gives us a space to talk individually on a one-to-one -one basis. It also gives us a space if fathers need to bring their children along um, so the children can get a space to play as well and that the fathers can sit and chat. we able to have people in doing issue-based um, support stuff as well. Um, so again, <clears throat> it provides a fantastic space in the school to, div to be able to do all the work that we require to do for uh, supporting fathers and children. For us in the school, extending the sessions to have the dads in the school on a Tuesday morning has been quite a challenge because Preston Pans is a growing community and our school is growing and we've got less space for extra activities. Um, and sometimes the staff have said, well, that's quite difficult because we need somewhere for groups of children to go and learn. And yet we've got dads groups in here twice a week. So what we've done is we have created other spaces for group work in the school through chucking out old resources and turning um, storage space into space for utility for children to work in. 
because it's absolutely crucial to me and to our school community that dads have a place in this school and that they feel welcome. And um, having dads work in offering these two sessions a week is giving dads that. Through the work that we're doing here, we've got dads who are now volunteering up in the um, Preston Pans School as well, uh, doing some um, nutritional stuff from the cooking groups that we've done. We've got a guy in this morning who's got some dads who want to go and do sporting volunteering through the schools as well. So again, we're providing opportunities. That wouldn't happen here because again, we wouldn't have that connection of being in, in Preston Pans if we were still based along in Musselburgh. Again, additionally to that, being in the school uh, now allows the dads who may not necessarily have engaged with us previously, gives them the opportunity now to engage with us. They know that we're in the school, they know that we're here, we've been here for quite a long time, and the fact that they're now contacting us and I'm meeting them here on a one-to-one -one basis as well. And that may happen out with the two, the two sessions that we already provide. The Go Mad With Dad, we, we are looking for that to continue. It was a massive success. Um, we've had three events. One was a huge event, two smaller events. We're now going to look to um, provide another event, uh, a large event after the summer. Um, but we are committed to, to continue these activity-based sessions um, so dads can come along with their children. Last year, because we had dads group dads work in the school, we had a Father's Day pizza massage where children were trained to give their fathers a wee massage on their back um, you, you you spread the dough and you, you drop d toppings onto the pizza and the children did that to their dads and um, we didn't know if dads would come along to that but on the day there was a queue to get in right the way around the playground the whole room was full of dads and it was just a lovely sight to see 140 dads having this wee massage from the children you could actually feel the oxytocin in the room and the warmth. It was just a lovely. I certainly know the feedback that the dads that come to the events that we hold in here, our dad's play group and our dad's group, actually really value the welcome that they get in the school. And that's from all members of staff. The freedom of being able to walk through the school, um, all the children saying hello to them, staff saying hello to them. It's just being welcomed into the school so they're not turning up to the door and people are thinking, oh, why is that person here? Why is that person coming to the school when the school's already in? They don't have that fear. They have the complete confidence that they're welcomed in here 100%.